What's up YouTube? We're back at it again with another video. But today this video we're going to be talking about this beauty right here. We're going to talk about it because you've asked for it. And because you've asked for it, I produced it. So with that being said, um, to begin with, it has the 305s on the front with the tire graphics. I got the 315s on the back with the tie grip, this, act, this um, tie right here I actually did last night. Um, why did she choose orange? I chose orange because of the orange calibers. And I think it just gives it a little, I don't know, it just makes it different and different is what I like. So that's what it is. I got my YouTube logo on it and I also added this SRT, uh, uh, what would we call, graphic? I guess um, to the side of it which I also like that a lot um, let's go around here to the front this particular model has the well let me back up a little bit because I didn't even said I just said this beauty right here this beauty right here is a Dodge Challenger wide body Hellcat 717 horsepower it has that amount of horsepower because it does have the open air intakes they're active so I mean the more air the better another thing y'all keep hassling me about is my yellow strip y'all the strip ain't going nowhere <laughs> I love the strip it gives it a mean look when you see the car in approach it just gives it an attitude of itself and another thing it actually protects the car is very low so when you are going over speed bumps or if you hit a pothole whatever it will protect because it does extend all the way down in the back. So it does protect that section of the car. Um, the color is the octane red. It does have that candy paint pearl. No, I don't think it's pearl, but candy paint look. But when I saw this color, I fell in love with it automatically. It's, it's insane, insane. So let's step inside and let's talk about the inside of it. It does have the premium leather SRT seats. I got, I don't know if it's six or eight inch touch screen, which I love. You have your modes, your SRT mode, your track mode, your, um, what is it? Track, uh, sport, and another mode. I love riding in sports mode. I never put it in track mode. It's just, it's not enough stretch out here for it. Um, but yeah, it's it's well and beautifully made. I, I just love it. When you sit inside, it's, you almost feel like you're in a rocket. It's, it's, it's well built for the speed. All right, let's come around here to the trunk. I did the badge it. I really didn't like the, the whole Dodge thing there. I, I didn't like it, so I took that off. All right. It did come with the factory Harman Carmen double subwoofers. Oh, look, I still have plastic on here. Double subwoofers, and the sound is amazing. Really, really good choice. Alright, let's head back to the front. I did already pop the hood. And this is where the beast resides. Yes. This is an amazing piece of machinery under this hood. It is this block right here. Oh, it's hot. The supercharge. It is the wine of the supercharge is euph euphoric. <laughs> if that's even a word. Well, it is stock. I didn't do no modifications. I did add an oil catch can because um, it was something that was recommended, and the oil catch can just catches, I guess, the excess oil that's ran through the engine I don't know but it was recommended so I thought I should do it um, I did tell you about the active air intake 
this is um this nozzle right here is is active i don't know why they just didn't put two of them but this is the whole thing right here the filter yeah it is i love them i love them do i race i mean i catch a couple people on the road sometime and you know i'll put it to work but as far as taking it on the track i've never taken it on the track um would i consider taking it on the track i don't think so but maybe maybe and if i do decide i would definitely bring y'all along but here she is this is my wide body challenger hellcat and i love her now y'all know i love hunting i love camping i love the just the outdoors in itself so i went out and i picked this up this is my Ram Rebel 1500 5.7 Hemi. I included the Rough Country 6 inch lift with the springs. It ain't none of that spacers or none of that stuff. No, I didn't do that. So it, it's a legit lift. It has the 35 by 12 and a half by 20 inch tire with a 20 inch wheel it's a fuel wheel i also added the tire graphics on here gave it some attitude it is i think it it, it, it does a little something to it i also added these side steps these aries side running boards i like those as well they're not really wide and i think that's i should have chosen something a little different but i like the color i like the a gravel look to it it has it it's textured so that's why I chose that I think I like it all right it's I guess it won't be considered stock because it does have the lift on it um, but as far as anything under the hood that's changed or anything like that, I didn't change any of that stuff. But I don't know, what else is there? What else is there to do or add to a truck? Let me know in the comments and we'll look into it. I wanna talk about this, what is this, a double flip here? It's an Armor Flex flip um, bed cover. It is nice. And that is why I chose the running board because they match. <laughs> it has that gravel textured color, just like this did before it got worn out, but it matched and I loved it. Back seat. Sorry, my pillows. I'm always prepared for a camping trip. Yo, these rubber mats, these are life. Dodge, y'all did it with these rubber mats. They hold everything. They are the best. It also has a little cooler here. Got your little stuff you can add into it. Your ice, it has a, a, a an extra bucket to where you can pull it out and dump the ice so you don't have to worry about how you're gonna get the water out of it. No, it doesn't have a plug. You actually have to take the, the whole basket out. All right, I did put the, uh, the not tire, the seat covers on it because, like I said, I like to go out and ride. I haven't really gone mudding per se, but I, when I do go on my hunts and stuff, clothes be dirty, I be nasty. It does have the leather seats with the white stitching on it. I just added this for protection, and I think I like the the whole camel look. All right, let's hop in here. All right, like I said, it was the Ram 1500 5.7. Uh, it has the 12 inch screen. This right here, man, it is beautiful. Um, I'll take y'all on a ride one day and I'll turn them on. I'm trying to keep the audio as clear as possible. If I crank it up, you're not gonna be able to hear me. So 
I am not trying to get into that. Um, but yeah, it's it's great. I don't know what else to talk about. The mats here in the front are also the same style mat. They are. I wish they would have came with two sets, but but yeah, I am loving my truck. Hey, if y'all want to see a camping video, let me know because I'm ready. Like I said, my pillow stay in the back seat. I got my camping gear in the bed of the truck, so we can always head up to Bear Island and, and set up a trip. These are my two beauties. This would be considered my everyday because um, when you're sitting that high up in the street and you're driving above everybody else, you kind of feel like the queen of the street. And this is exactly the feel I get when I am in my truck. Now this here, you are sitting kind of low, but the speed is amazingly insane 717 horsepower is a lot of speed to put on a city street um so yes when i get into this i feel like can't hey, nobody catch you you can't even keep up <laughs> but yeah this is her on the other side same thing just beautifully put together guys i hope you enjoyed this is just you know only because you ask and I try to produce as you guys are asking me for content you guys want to just see a little or know a little bit more about what Yoki got going on just keep it coming you let me know what you want to see let you know or let me know what it is that you want to do and I will definitely put something into play for you guys but with all of that being said this is where it ends if you have any modifications or anything that you think is cool that I should add to my truck or even add to my Hellcat, let me know in the description, and not the description, in the comments below, and we'll definitely talk about it, and I will consider. So with that being said, yo gang, this is where it ends. Thank you for sticking around. I love you. Peace.